Okay, so in this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a long list of keyword ideas just in the forums. So what I want you to quickly notice, we are here in Digital Point, and any forum that you go to is pretty much set up the same. And the first thing that I want you to notice is right here where you scroll down in the main part and these things right here, these are great ideas for categories for your website. So depending on what kind of website you're creating, let's say that we want to do a digital marketing course comparison site, right? Um, something that's very popular. So here we obviously see the first thing is search engines and then you got Google, Yahoo, Bing, other search engines and directories. And all of these things are topics, right? But this is giving us really great ideas to begin with of all the different types of topics that we can cover and talk about. Especially down here when it starts getting into, you know, business, marketing, search engine optimization, payment processing, social networks, link development, like we're getting deeper into these problems, right? Now, as we dive even deeper, and we want to find out even more pain points that our audience might have let's just click in here to like search engine optimization and let's begin to see so from here it it breaks down even further we got we got keywords we got microdata and then of course we start having the actual individual questions that people are asking so these i just wanted to point out are really great places to find like some of those category keywords or tag keywords for your website and it's not that you even need to be thinking about how you're going to use these terms simply go into these forums and just start creating a massive list so for example let's go back here and if i was creating a brand new website i would literally go through here and i would just start writing all of these things down so this is my list of forums. Open a new notepad and just start making a list, right? Google, Yahoo. And are some of these terms going to be usable? No, definitely not. Like we're, we're not going to use Google as a main keyword. However, it's going to help us come up with other terms. You know, business marketing then you can get you can even add in some of your own terms while you're doing this online business online marketing and I'm sure we're going to cover those further down the list you know and obviously copy and paste where you can I'm just doing this quickly for right now because I'm not going to go through all of these we would be here all day if I would be doing all of this research in real time <laughs> But obviously, you can just see, okay, that I'm just giving you an idea here of how to go about doing this. Let's even, uh, let's dive in here, link development. So if you, we just start scrolling through some of these things, we can see Obviously, you can see, oh, what's been highly replied to, what hasn't, but we can also see what these pain points are, right? So, like, how many links in one press release? That's a very specific question. Um, maybe, you know, if there wasn't a ton of replies, maybe you can make a blog post around something like that later on. But obviously, we want to first find out uh, how many searches something, you know, how, press release, you know, how popular is that? niche link exchange that's a it's a good term right there so some of these you know maybe you won't be taking the whole thing but maybe you find like travel niche link exchange like that is a really super specific term and we don't know what the competition might be for that we don't know what the search volume might be for that yet so we are just gathering a huge list of keywords moz moz account Right, so those are brand keywords or competitor keywords even. So I think that's good for now. I just wanted to give you guys an idea um, 
of how you go about doing this. And there's no end to how many keywords you can gather through forums like this. As you guys can see, you know, I could be doing this for a few hours. And like I said, if I was starting from the very from the very beginning from scratch and I didn't have a business yet, I didn't even have a website yet, and I was doing niche research and market research, this is what I would be spending most of my time on at least for the first few days because that's how important getting your foundation ready is. And to get your foundation ready, you need to know about your market. You need to know what the search volume is of these terms so that you can start building accordingly. So I hope uh, you guys have gotten a good idea just from me doing this. Again, you can go into each one of these and gather just a whole massive list of keyword terms. and But only choose terms that are going to be relevant for whatever topic you're going to be covering. If you are doing a, you know, if you're doing social media, obviously just stick to things that are closely related to social media. Maybe you could fringe on blogging some or a few SEO tips, but basically you want to stick mostly towards social media. You don't have to go into all this payment processing or legal issues or domain names or copywriting and all that other stuff if you're just going to be focused on one topic. So obviously you know what's best for your website and your niche, so use your best judgment. Obviously you don't want to be choosing every single word on a forum. That's not the point of doing keyword research. What we want to do here is we want to find highly relevant terms. And this is just a great place to help us find more keyword ideas for whatever topic it may be. So I hope that that's been clear. I don't want you to just go through this mindlessly and just add keyword after keyword. Only take the keyword ideas that seem like topics that you would be talking about or writing on. So with that being said, that is how to find keyword ideas from forums. Let's continue on in the next video and how to find even more keywords and how to add them to your list.